And then you guys remember how to open up your instrument packs? Remember when you're in your surgery, you want to pull it straight up and then towards you. Do you remember why? So that if you're, you're sterile. sterile, so then you can touch your abdomen, yep. And then up and then away, okay? So then right away, I'm gonna go for my towel clamps to get that so I can get my drapes done. Again, you're gonna be using your finger on that box lock and you're gonna be pushing down and penetrating that skin. Usually I recommend pulling up so that you know that you got the skin, okay? And it's kind of harder sometimes, but over time you can start to use your left hand. Again, I like to use my finger on that box lock and pushing down and then, see, I didn't get it. So then you gotta push down and talk. So look. And then some people, I like recommend bringing just both your towel clamps when you go to go to the other side, okay? And again, this is the person that is the surgical assistant would be fully gowned and gloved. When you get open your first year pack, you always want to go through your list. So you'll give this to your circulating nurse and making sure that you have everything in there. And then when you get in things organized, always make sure that you have it on the side that you're going to be working. So you always want to find out if your physician or your doctor is going to be light handed or left handed, um, because that'll really depend on what side of the table they're going to be on and what side of the table you're going to be on. So, I'm just gonna set those out here for a second. All right. So I usually always set that up in the up corner that I'm not gonna be using, because I wanna have all my instruments out. And you can organize this in any way that makes sense to you. But think of it this way, I always keep the instruments that I'm gonna be using the most, which do you guys know which ones you're gonna probably be using the most? Unisex. Well, you're gonna be using scissors. your operating scissors at the most, and you're also gonna be using your towel clamp, so I always make sure those are by me. Um, but yeah, you wanna make sure just everything that you're gonna be primarily using. One thing that I like to use is using this to when you go to measure your drape, which I'll show you in a second. So we're gonna place our, do our, paper drape so now that we got our towels down we'll open this up and we always want to look to make sure we have the one fold in the middle okay so when you're sterile you can have this laid out because this is sterile so we'll have this all laid out and you always want to find where that fold is so that you have that so then taking your operating scissors you'll go to measure your incision so we're going to say okay what's about this long by like two of these Right? So then we'll take it over here. We can measure that out. We're just gonna cut it. So when keeping in mind though, when you go to cut the width, you wanna make sure it's half the width because uh, it's gonna be bigger once you open it up. Okay? All right. And then I usually like to make sure that you guys get, bring it back together. And then when you're getting to your patient, you wanna make sure that you have this facing towards you. And then when you go to drop, you wanna drop, keep the, hold on to the area of the drape that's the furthest away from you, okay? So you'll, I'll let it drop. And then I'll fold it in just like we did those towel drapes. And what, like, uh, what I always like to use is you can be like, pretend that you're Superman or Superwoman, making sure that you're not gonna hit those surgery lights because those surgery lights are gonna be right above you but when you're gonna be focusing on trying to line up those holes, just like that, okay? So now we're gonna be using our Lorna towel clamps to lock this into place. And what you're trying to do with these Lornas is you're trying to find where your back house clamps are. So that's where you're looking for that joint, okay? And that's what you're going to lock it to. And again, I like using my finger just to ensure that I have it all together. There we go. And again, I'll just come around the side to secure it on the other side. And I see, I'm just feeling, you can touch this because it's all sterile. So you guys can clamp it down. And again, I'll just 
here, clamp that down. Because you want to clamp it to your back house clamps because those are the ones that are secured to your patient, okay? All right. So now we got our patient all draped. So this is when I want to make sure, like, if you didn't have your instruments in place where they needed to be, this is a good time to do it. Otherwise, doing it before you guys even drape. 